it's going to be continuing to produce at that reduced rate for an extended period of time, maybe even permanently, just depending. S23 is one of those that was designed to shut down testosterone production. It's 100% agonist. And so it's going to be very hard to naturally recover from that one without a very sig significant PCT. The PCT is important when you're not running testosterone. So if you're not on TRT year round, that's when the PCT becomes important. Okay. If you're on TRT year round, that TRT is replacing your natural production or production of testosterone. So doing a PCT while you're continuing the TRT is completely pointless most of the time. And one exception would be is if you've been on TRT for a long period of time, talking several years, it's often a good idea to run HCG intermittently, like a cycle every six months in order to keep testicles full, right? So not everybody has issues with it. Some guys like myself, you know, if I don't do a cycle of HCG every six months or so, the testicles start to shrink up, which probably isn't a problem, but you know, it's cool to have big balls, right? So <laughs> anyway, that's the point of the HCG while you're on cycle. It's not as a PCT, right? I'm continuing the TRT. I'm not post-cycling it. It's continuing. So it's just a maintenance boost at that point. Um, let's see. So PCT is important if you're not on TRT especially, okay? Now, a PCT can reduce the risk of gynecomastia, especially when you're utilizing steroids. SARMs not so much, but yes, if you're going to be running a SARM, the suppressive like S23, then the PCT should be utilized if you're not on TRT. Uh, lifestyle and dietary factors, you know, diet, sleep, nutrition, those all tie into how much estrogen your body's producing. You know, the amount of plastic that we're getting within our food, especially processed food, you know, everything we eat comes in some kind of plastic or cardboard or something manufactured. I mean, you can go to the store and buy potatoes or carrots or th something like that. It's all coming in a plastic bag, right? So even if it says organic on it, well, it's still wrapped in plastic, which is leaching chemicals. You know, we put our things in, in Tupperware or Ziploc bags into the freezer. Like we're constantly being exposed to plastics and chemicals related to plastic in our diet that it's just insane. And it's not even talking about city water. City water is so full, <laughs> so full of stuff. It's just disgusting. Um, I worked in excavation for years and years, and um, you open up a city water main that has been around for a long period of time. It is just it's extremely disgusting what our drinking water flows through to get to your house. I mean, there was a really good video I saw the other day. <laughs> I think it was on TikTok, and I should have saved it. But um, I haven't seen one this bad myself. I don't know where this guy was working out, but they cut into a main. The city main is a six inch. <clears throat> so um, picture a pipe, you know, six inch pipe. And uh, it was almost halfway closed.